Hello guys and welcome to the channel Skincare with Asikia Iyala. Today guys, I'll be showing you how to make your exfoliating cleanser, which is, I would say, one of the best. I always say that. This cleanser is made out of butterfly pearls and also the lavender bog flower. And right here, I have half a cup of my hot water. So what I'm going to do is to infuse my butterfly um, pearls. Just going to open this. So we don't need too much, just a little bit. I can't measure it right now. I'm making a mess already. Okay, that's the quantity you need. And also you need some part of the lavender bulb. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to infuse this into my hot water and I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes. Okay. So while I am doing that, I'm going to walk you guys through on all my ingredients I have here laid out already. Now, um, some of you guys always complain that my ingredients are too much. Well, if you want the best of what you're making, obviously you want to have the best, the best of the best ingredients. And if you look at most of the products, um, active ingredients, you don't see just one ingredient uh, mentioned there. They have so many um, ingredients. That's because the manufacturer wants you to benefit from the products and wants you to come back and buy again. So if you're making um, a lotion or you're making a soap or you're making a fish scrub or something and you're putting just few ingredients and, well, it might work. I mean, it's okay, but I feel the more ingredients, good ingredients you have in your lotion or your soap making or whatever you're making, the better for you and your customers, you know. So, um, yeah, now um, let me move this aside and show you guys some of the things that I'll be using here today. Now, I'm going to be using hyaluronic acid, which is actually good for the skin. It will keep your skin moist, take out fine lines, wrinkle, every uh, signs of aging, premature aging. This is one of the best ingredients you want to put in your um, lotion or in your scrub. Anything that has to do with the face. I mean, I love hyaluronic acid. You guys know I'm obsessed with hyaluronic acid already. Now, alantone is also a very good um, ingredient to add into anything you're making concerning your face. Because this is just one of the best ingredients. I don't want to go through it right now because I don't want this video to be too long. But you can do a research and check about um, this ingredient. Alantone is just one of the best you need. Now I'm going to be using the night and gum. Now this night and gum, it has no benefit for the skin. But the reason why most companies use this to make their product is because they want to get that jelly uh, glue feel when you use their products. I'm going to insert a picture to show you guys what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm not explaining it right. So, and I mean, there's a research that shows that it has um, hydrating benefits for the skin. So I'm gonna be using that today. I'm gonna be using um, night cinnamide, and this is the vitamin B3, which is actually good for the skin. This can naturally exfoliate your skin. And yeah. I'm going to be using this as well. Now I'm going to be using vitamin C as well. Now the reason why I will be using vitamin C is to gain from the uh, skin lightening agent it has. And also to balance the pH level of my facial cleanser. Now that's really very important to check the pH level of anything you're doing that concerns the face. The pH level has to be balanced at least from... Uh, 4.4 to 5.5 or maybe a little bit below and a little bit uh, above so you want to check that and I have my pH testing kit here and I'll be checking the pH level from time to time just to get everything balanced in now um, the other thing I need to add here is my soap base and this is a very good soap base for 
uh, facial cleansers. I mentioned the other time in my video that um, it is not good to use bar soaps on your face because it is really alkaline. So if you want to make a facial cleanser, uh, facial scrub and cleanser together, this is one of the best thing you need to, uh, to use as um, a foaming cleanser. So you want to buy this. I'm going to leave everything, all the, all the things that I have here, I'm going to leave it in my description box and also in my comment section. Now, I always used to say to you guys, if you don't want to use any of these things that I'll be showing you here today, there is no problem. You can skip. Now, let me, let me use this as an example. If you rather choose to use hyaluronic acid than um, alantone, then pick hyaluronic acid. You don't have to use both of them together. I personally want to gain from all of these ingredients. I'm not, I'm not greedy, but <laughs> I like to do the best for myself and for my family and friends. So, like I said, if you want to just use one, then fine. You can use one and skip the other one, you know. And this is also, you can, you can skip this as well. It's not mandatory. It's not compulsory. Um, but you need, you need this for this recipe. You need this uh, glue or gum rather. <laughs> so one other thing I'll be adding here today is my aloe vera. Yeah. Aloe vera is very nice for the skin, very hydrating for the skin. It's packed with antioxidant and I'll be using this as well. And I'll be using glycerin. The reason why I'll be using glycerin is because it has a very good benefit and I will be using it to, uh, I'll be using it to dilute my alantum and also the hyaluronic acid. So I'll be using this as well. Now the next ingredient I have here is my pineapple extract. This is a pure pineapple extract, which is very suitable for the skin, very nice for skin um, cleansing and also exfoliant. Yeah, so I'm going to be using this as well. Now, this is my jojoba bits or pears. And this is what we use to exfoliate the skin. Let me get some of this out here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And this helps to exfoliate... Now this helps to exfoliate your skin. So this is what it looks like. And this is non-water soluble. So which is a good thing. So I'll be using part of this in there. And I got all the stuff that I'll be adding in. But I'm going to walk you guys through once I am done with um, my face A and B. Just to show you guys, um, I have a second option here. Just in case you can find the jojoba beads. You can also use crystal. Let me show you guys what this looks like. Now you can find this in most of the scrubs. This is a very good exfoliant for the skin, which is very mild. So, but I'm not going to be using this. I just want to show you guys what it looks like, just in case you can find the jojoba beads. So, yeah. Right now, what I would do, this is infusing. Gonna leave this aside. Get my quantity of the clear soap and I'm going to pour it in here. This is gonna be my mixing bowl, and I will be using half a cup. Half a half a cup. I'm gonna be using half a cup of my clear soap. Yeah, so this is half a cup. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to add in half a cup of my aloe vera juice. Okay. This is half a cup. That's it in there. Oh my world, this is going to be yummy. <laughs> so half a cup half a cup that's one cup and i have half a cup here so guys what i'm gonna do next is to mix my hyaluronic acid and um well the best way to mix your hyaluronic acid is with water but that takes up to two to three hours for it to fully dissolve 
or overnight depending on the quantity you're making but if you want a quick if you want to make um, a quick uh, use of your hyaluronic acid then you have to um, dilute it with glycerin so I'm using a spoon the spoon that came with it and this can go a long way and I'm going to dilute this with the glycerin like I said because that's just the fastest way you can get it mixed you know for a quicker use <clears throat> so I'm going to put just a little bit of my glycerin there's no measurement here okay so I'm gonna mix this oh gosh I love hyaluronic acid oh my god okay now I'm going to set this aside that's how you mix it this is my infused butterfly uh, flower or pears including the lavender in there so what I'm going to do is I have my measured out already um, nighting gum and I will add in my vitamin C I'm going to be using one third yeah yeah, this should be one third of the vitamin C. The next ingredient that I'll be adding is my pineapple extract. And I am going to put 10 drops of that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay. The next um, ingredient I want to add is my nighting gum. And um, I need to mention to you guys, whenever you want to add your nighting gum, you want to put it this way. Don't add it the opposite way. You have to pour your nighting gum slowly into the mixture, like so. A little bit. Now you have to take it one step at a time, otherwise it's going to be clumpy and you won't, you won't like that. So you want to put a little bit, one at a time. so this is what it looks like right now and i would test the ph level this is going to be a little bit tricky because of the color and let me see what i can do here i think i need to buy a different ph tester it can help me So guys, um, it's really important to check the pH level because you don't want to go above or below the pH level of your skin. And right here, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so, 
right here I've got um, this is exactly what I want between four and five so I hope the okay I hope <laughs> I hope you guys can see what I'm doing now this is just what I want exactly between four and five you don't want to go above or below four and five so this is a very good ph level for your skin but i as time goes on i will keep testing because i have my aloe vera here and also my base um soap so i still have to test the ph level once i add them into my mixture just to get the accurate um ph level that is going to be suitable for all skin types okay so let me continue here i'm gonna toss this away so um the next ingredient i will be adding in is going to be my hyaluronic acid so i'm gonna gently pour it in there sorry for the noise guys so in my mixture I'm going to add the licorice extract in there so I'm going to be using 1% of my licorice extract And the silk protein half a teaspoon so we are going to mix everything properly so in here guys I've got my aloe vera and also my clear soap base and I will add in my mixture now you want to go slowly like I said guys I'll be checking the pH level this smells good oh my god and you don't want to use stick blender at this point otherwise you are going to be doing something really bad so stick blender is not needed at this point it's always nice to use the best of the best ingredients guys so if you have the money to buy all of this stuff that I'm using here today to make my uh, exfoliating cleanser, then please do so because these ingredients are really, really beneficial to the skin. You will love it. You would love, love, love it. So guys, um, at this stage, you want to add the other part of your ingredient which is the oil and i'm using the wheat gram oil which is very suitable for the skin it is packed with antioxidants it is i can go on and on about this and i don't want to right now so you guys can google these and check it out this is one of the best thing you want to use on your skin most especially your face and you can actually drink this which is good and I'll be using uh, vitamin E as well. And then I'll be adding my jojoba beads. So um, in measurement, I'll be using half a teaspoon of both oils. So this is half a teaspoon.
and also half a teaspoon that's right we just have to blend it in really slow So the last ingredient to add, oh, this is not the last ingredient, I have to <laughs> preserve. Okay, um, the next ingredient is the jojoba beads. So this is a tablespoon of the jojoba beads. I'm gonna add that in there. Great for exfoliating. So, I'm not going to add any fragrance. Um, if you want to add essential oils, you can. Lavender essential oil or treaty essential oil. Or, um, um, or vanilla, whatever you prefer. That will be fine, but I will not suggest you to use um, fragrance on your face. So you don't want to add that. It's not good for your skin. So guys, um, the last thing I need to add now is my preservative. And I'll be using half a teaspoon, which is 1%. 1% of my preservative. That's it. Voila, almost ready. Oh my God, this smells really good. So guys, um, at this stage, we want to retest the pH level of the cleanser. And just to be sure, to get the accurate um, pH level, which is 4.4 .4 to 5.5 .5. so now this is going to be tricky but I'm going to survive it oh my word okay there's a problem here this is too alkaline so this is what I'm talking about this is too 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 alkaline which is um, somewhere around seven. Yeah, somewhere around seven. So what I'm going to do now is to add vitamin C to regulate the pH level. That's my vitamin C. So I'm going to add um, some quantity of the vitamin C, not too much. Let's see how it goes now. Hmm, huh, still not good. So guys, um, I'm still having problem. Um, I'm gonna try the nice cinnamon because this is uh, a vitamin B. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna add some percentage of this to balance the pH level. Now, like I said, the best way to regulate your pH level is to use, um, what is it called? Lactic acid. And I don't have lactic acid right now. So I'm doing the best I can to regulate the pH level. And I'm adding the niacinamide vitamin B3. It is very, very important to check the pH level. So you don't use something that is too alkaline for your skin. I'm going to be using these and I'm giving part of this to my friend. So 
obviously i don't want to mess around even if i have to sell it i don't want to mess around with people's skin so yeah so let me try once more again it's not easy to see okay this is the perfect this is the perfect um, HP level that we want it to be. And this is in between four and five. Okay, guys. Yeah. So, guys, um, I had to um, regulate this with a nice and mine, which is the vitamin B3. And I also added vitamin C to help regulate and balance the pH level. And let me show you guys what I did off camera. I had to use all of this in order to get my pH level. This is just the best way, otherwise you'll be doing something bad. So you have to continuously check the pH level to be able to balance the pH level of your um, facial lotion or facial scrub, facial wash. It is very important. So yeah, now that we've gone past the pH level testing, now it is time to package it is time to pour in your scrub cleanser into the jar and this is not going to be easy for me right now but i will try my best oh lord have mercy Okay, clean this here. It's time for practical, and this is what my scrub looks like. Looks pretty good. So I didn't add any color into it. It's the butterfly purse that made it looks this way, and. You just have to scrub it on your skin, which is quite good. I can feel the hoho babits, which is exfoliating my skin gently. And this is just so good. That's really gentle on the skin. very mild I love it very hydrating as well so guys that's it for this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so don't forget to hit on the notification bell as well so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Um, like I will always say, if it doesn't feed you, do not worry it.